Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kodash. Double honor to the men at GMS that taught me this word. Peace, honor, and respect to the brothers that's out there laboring, edifying, rightly dividing the word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to you believers out there, the Akim Wa Akwatim. So, yeah, what I want to get into right now is <clears throat> um, yesterday, because you know I got that app news break. And this this article came across. Now this one, um, it said it was published um, a month ago, but I know I got an alert on my um, news break, and uh, it had a whole different picture and everything. But I remember I said I was gonna go to it. Uh, I was gonna do a lesson on it today because I wasn't able to yesterday. But um, <clears throat> you you see right here, uh, this is uh, CNBC. Let's say Bill Gates said COVID risks have dramatically reduced, but another pandemic is coming. And just through the spirit, like, you know, I always felt that it will be another pandemic. I mean, you know, another, yeah, pandemic, another uh, something that's not COVID. You know, we had different strands of the COVID. So like, you know I'm saying it was different strands of the C19. Hopefully they don't take this video down because they just removed my other video. Um, that I did, they gave me a warning. So next time I'm gonna get a strike. But um, if you go on my other page, um, um, Pearl One Pearl, hold on. I'm gonna link the I'm gonna link the page in the uh, I'm gonna link the page. Bear with me one second. Lord willing, I remember I'm gonna link the page in the description along with this article. Cause the name of my other channel was one pearl of great price. Okay. And it got the same picture as this, but I'm going to link it in and the video is still up on that page. And I might just do another video. I might put up a little, uh, video to link to that, uh, video, but, uh, back to this. So like I was saying, I always believed just in the spirit that something else was going to hit. Okay. But Bill Gates right here, he's saying another pandemic is coming. And as you remember, Bill Gates was uh, one of the guys that was saying before COVID, well before COVID, C19 hit. I keep saying it. Well before the C19 hit, that uh, a pan we wasn't ready for a pandemic. Okay? And, you know, Bill Gates is one of those guys. He's in the know about certain things. You know, he he's not the highest on the, on the totem pole, but he, you know, he's in the know about certain things. So, you know, he didn't say maybe. He said it is, you know. So you never know what um, what they're, you know, because this could be their way of putting it out here, you know. But uh, I got this little, well, first let's go into the article. It said, Bill Gates said Friday that the risk of severe disease from C19 have dramatically reduced, but another pandemic is all but certain. See, <laughs> all right. Speaking to CNBC's Hadley Gamble at Germany's annual Munich Security Conference, Gates, co-chair of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, said that a potential new pandemic would likely stem from a different pathogen to that of the, you know, the C19 family. All right. But he added that advances in medical technology will help the world do a better job of fighting it if investments are made now. And this is his quote, we'll have another pandemic. It will be a different pathogen next time, Gates said. See? Two years into the C19 pandemic, Gates said the worst effects have faded as huge swatches of the global population have gained some level of immunity. Its severity has also waned within the last Omarion variant. <laughs> All right. So this is the article. I'm going to link it. Lord willing, I remember. Um, here go one of the video. I'm going I'm to, you know. Bill, how confident are you that we as a global community will deal with the next pandemic better? Well... You know, there were a lot of people in 2015 after the Ebola epidemic who were talking about uh, what needed to be done. 
And in this pandemic, uh, the countries that had some exposure to SARS-CoV-1 were amongst the outliers. You know, so Australia is a true outlier. They uh, orchestrated diagnostics, they executed quarantine policies, and they have a death rate in a different league than the other rich countries. I mean, just utterly different. And everybody had the capability to do that. They, you know, have less PCR machines than other countries. It wasn't some thing. They have more travelers coming in from China than other countries. So hopefully, um, you know, given the so many negative things, not just the. Oh man, bear with me one second. It's, it's idling. Let me see. Millions of deaths and the economic toll, but the lack of schooling, depression, overdose deaths. Why is that lady looking like that? <laughs> Hold on, I don't know why all of a sudden. I mean, it's uh, you know hard hard to make the entire list, as you say. You know, for men, more men died. For women, more women had you know unacceptable burdens thrust onto them. Bullying, depression, overdose deaths. I mean, it's, uh, you know, hard, hard to make the entire list. As you say, you know, for men, more men died. For women, more women had, you know, unacceptable burdens thrust onto them. Uh, so the cost of being ready for the next pandemic is not super large. It's not like climate change where, you know, 10 trillion, 20 trillion, these are big numbers. Uh, you know, global surveillance capability would cost like a billion a year. The R&D that we need to do to get magic uh, vaccines and diagnostics and, and therapeutics, you know, that's less than 100 billion over the next decade. So, you know, if we're rational, yes, uh, the next time we'll catch it early. Uh, and it won't go global like it, it did this time. And see, they, you know, <laughs> that's why, hold on, you know, they already, you know, he, he think in his council, they already think they got it figured out. Okay. So basically when you go to the scriptures, all right, first scripture, I'm going to go to, uh, Job 5 and 14, and what do it say? It says, they meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night, see? Because these, guy, these guys, they meet their councils, you know. <laughs> Why is he putting this out here? Why is the headline saying, you know, he's confident basically about another pandemic coming? Well, he's in certain councils. He, You know, he's hearing certain things, you know. Uh, and like I said, Bill Gates, he's in the know about a lot of things. All right. So, you know, I, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised because like just in the spirit, I always felt like something else was going to happen. All right. When you go to, um, and it's going to be quick. I got a couple scriptures, you know, when you go to Isaiah 29, and 15, and it says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? And yeah, that's these devils, you know. Uh, they do a lot of things, they think they hide, you know, they think <laughs> they think they're gonna be able to get away with all what they do, not knowing that the Lord is a controller of the left and the right side. All right, and they, they do their work on the left-hand side, which the Lord control, all right? You got uh, the spirit, spiritual being Satan. You got Satan. He's the top angel on the left side, okay? But he has to get a green light from the, the Heavenly Father, all right, ultimately. So he can't do nothing without, you know, that is is without the green light, okay, from Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, all right? So whatever they do, the Lord ultimately putting the spirit on them to do. He mo uh, he he gave them the knowledge to uh, work in the wickedness that they work in. <laughs> they think it's uh, upon their own wisdom, all right, which is very very false, all right. And like he said, it won't go global. It won't do this. It won't do that. Well, how do you know? They think they can control 
everything, but that's not true. Because it's going to be up to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, all right? That's what's going to take me to 32 Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Yeah. And that's facts. You know, <laughs> that's a, that's facts. No, nobody can deliver out of the hand of the Lord. And he's the one who's killed wound. He's the one that's going to determine whether it don't go global, whether it do go global, because, you know, the Lord ultimately is, uh, he's, he's sending down these, these pestilences. All right. As a matter of fact, when you go to, um, that's going to take me to Ezekiel chapter five. All right. And verse when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction in which I will send to destroy you. And I will increase famine upon you and will break your staff of bread. Cause you see the, the food prices going up, this inflation, you know, which ultimately is going to be a trickle down effect, even to the truckers that bring in your food and your goods and things of that nature. All right. This is going, what's going to contribute to that famine. These high uh, gas prices is one thing that can contribute to it. Verse 17, so I will send upon you famine and evil beast, okay? And they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, have spoken it. Yeah, see, these are the things that the Lord are bringing, not them. The, the Lord is just using them as an instrument, okay? And you see right here, it said what? The evil beast. Because, see, that's another thing, uh... If you're not in the know, what you don't understand, when you go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 11, all right, starting at 17, what do it say? It says, for the almighty hand that made the world of matter without form, one and not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions or unknown wild beasts full of rage, newly created, breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy sense of scattered smoke. Or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. See? <laughs> Sound like a movie. All right? Verse 19, whereof not only the harm might dispatch them at once, but also the terrible sight utterly destroy them. See? And these the newly, newly created beasts. This is going to be another thing. But just jumping back to, uh, you know, what, what Billy Gates was talking about and how he's sure about this. No, man. It's the Lord that's going to make everything move in the in the manner of what he wanted to move in and this is my last scripture second address uh 15 and start at five it said what behold said the lord i will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction for the wickedness have ascendingly polluted the earth okay and their hurtful works are fulfilled therefore said the lord all right uh, yeah, that's about it. So, you know, um, you know, hey, the Lord is ultimately using these uh elite Edomites to do the wicked in the earth. Okay, all right, it's sent for the scourges of of, of the wicked, wicked people of the planet, man. All right, and everybody gonna get basically what they deserve, whether it be good or evil. All right. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Lord willing, it was edifying to the next lesson. Shalom.